This is the most important car launch in Tesla's history. Make no mistake. Tesla are accelerating production of the Juniper version of the Model Y, revealing it with a new battery pack, much more range, possibly 20% more range, and retooling of Tesla's factory will begin within weeks for the Juniper EV. The Tesla Model Y Juniper has now become the number one priority for Tesla. They are accelerating production. They are fast forwarding it. In other words, it's coming to market much sooner than we previously thought it would. The Tesla Model Y, the Highland Model Y Plus edition, it's actually gonna be revealed pretty soon. And we've found some more details, guys. I'm, I'm really excited about this because it's the very likely to be the best selling car in the world in 2023. Could it again get that title when it's upgraded middle, possibly middle of 2024? Here's some more information about the new Tesla Model Y Highland. I've got to say, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this stuff because I think the battery is going to be different to the battery pack in the Tesla Model 3 Highland. In fact, could be significantly better. And I mean, like a big, big, big change. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. We're not a far away now from 2024. So guys, happy new year. Hope you all have an amazing 2024. And you know, what I'm really most excited to see is EVs take over the automotive market. The more electric cars we have out there, well, the better off we all are. Tesla will upgrade the 2024 Model Y. When will that come? When will the facelift come? When is the Juniper version? Now, I'm not talking about the new version we're seeing in China. There's already an upgraded version of the Model Y in China. That's not what this video is about. That's some nice changes. There's a few changes. There's about five changes to the Model Y. You're going to see those cars in probably January, February, March, maybe in America. You're going to see those cars really, really soon. What I'm talking about here, though, is the big changes the big upgrade the highland version it's called juniper for the model y apparently it's going to have a summer release it will have a redesigned body and a new battery that's the big news the new battery is of course the big change because the model 3 highland doesn't have a new battery it's got the same uh, basically the same battery as previous model threes depending on where you get the car from um, catl battery or byd blade battery um, but mostly CATL lithium ion phosphate batteries for the standard version. And then of course, with the long range version, you're getting uh, 2170 cells from various manufacturers. And with the performance version, same thing, 2170 cells. So not really much, the kind of changes we expected to come, that I expected to come for the Model 3 battery pack didn't happen. And I believe there's a good reason for that. The biggest battery manufacturer in the world, CATL, pretty well told us why that was. They aren't making enough batteries of their latest of their latest M3P batteries or of the latest upgrade, version 2.0 of the LFP, lithium ion phosphate batteries, their 4C LFP battery, which is way better. And I mean, way, way better than the previous battery pack. Now, it's such a huge change that you don't want to have the old version of this car when the new version comes out because the new batteries are so much better. They charge approximately, uh, apparently can potentially charge twice as fast with these new batteries, these new LFP battery packs. They can charge uh, in really cold temperatures up to minus 20 degrees Celsius. There is no charging losses, which is just insane. This technology actually just won an award. In fact, it won the best technology award in Europe last week. So basically, uh, 22 different European judges said CATL's new lithium ion phosphate battery was the best product to hit the market in 2023. But here's the thing. When the Model 3 Highland came to market, they weren't mass manufacturing this battery. They said they would be. Uh, for some reason, the ramp up was delayed, and that's why we don't have that. The new version of CATL's battery in the new version of the Model 3, but it will apparently be in the Tesla Model Y. At least that's what we're hearing from China. Tesla is preparing to do to the Model Y what it did to the Model 3 Highland, facelift, interior redesign, suspension changes, uh, acoustic glass changes. There's heaps of changes. In fact, interior materials are meant to be much nicer, say journalists. 
lots and lots of changes. The mid-2024 Tesla Model Y release has a code name. It's called Project Juniper. So it's going to get changes to the front headlights, changes to the rear headlights, changes apparently to the body as well, an upgraded interior, specs, new badging. Yeah, lots of different changes. One change it's also going to get that no one's really talking about here is the adaptive headlights. Adaptive headlights now have been rolled out for the new Model 3 Highland. It's over a software update. You just have to go and up, upgrade your car via, via an over-the-air software update and you've got to get the new adaptive headlights. Big improvement over Tesla's existing headlights. But I mean, those vehicles already had that feature. They just had to have that unlocked via software once that technology was approved in Europe. It had to be improved in Europe before Tesla could actually turn it on. Now it's been turned on. The Model Y, which is the best-selling vehicle likely to be the best-selling vehicle in the world in 2023. And of course, Tesla's best-selling vehicle will get a bigger and bolder redesign to compete against BYD, against uh, everyone. I mean, against, I mean, realistically, let's be fair though, BYD is clearly Tesla's biggest competitor. That's who Tesla is benchmarking. Tesla knows it has to up its game and it's about to. Realistically, it is possible BYD will surpass Tesla in fourth quarter deliveries, but based on some analyst forecasts, that may not happen. Uh, Piper Sandler, for example, says that Tesla will deliver 507,000 electric cars in the fourth quarter of this year, meaning it'll be very close, neck and neck between BYD and Tesla in the fourth quarter. Now, Tesla apparently wasn't going to rev be building the new version of the Tesla Model Y until next fall, as in autumn, America's autumn. But they have basically accelerated production of the Model Y Juniper. They are putting that as their number one most important priority. So Tesla is saying, you know what, Cybertruck production, yeah, that's important. You know, Model 2, that's very important. But apparently, sources are saying the most important vehicle now for Tesla is not those cars, it's the Model Y Juniper. This makes sense. It's, it's Tesla's bread and butter. I mean, it's more than 50% of their cars are the Model Y sold. So yes, Tesla needs to accelerate production of the new version of the Model Y because it's got a lot of competition. I mean, there are so many models of cars coming from other companies now. Tesla knows this. Tesla doesn't want to have to keep cutting prices. If they can reveal a better product, get more demand for that, they can charge more. And I think that's what they will do. According to sources, Tesla will use either the M3P battery or the new LFP battery from CATL. It's one or the other. It, they will not be using their existing lithium ion phosphate battery, meaning the new Juniper vehicle will get at least 20% more range due to higher energy density in those battery packs and much faster charging speeds. We're seeing 170 kilowatt charging speeds for the existing Tesla Model Y standard range. Those charging speeds will be boosted to a minimum of 250, possibly even 350 kilowatt charging if Tesla were to make some other changes as well. But it's unlikely they'll do so. That'll have to be changes to the possible architecture of the car, say going from 400 to 800 volt. That's not likely. So it's likely we'll see 250 kilowatt fast charging on the standard range Tesla Model Y. According to factory sources, Tesla will idle its Chinese plant for a week around the New Year's festivity. So as in, it's doing it now. Uh, within the next couple of weeks, Tesla are actually retooling in China to upgrade their production lines to newer manufacturing to basically being able to make the Juniper version of the vehicle. They're doing this to prepare for mass Model Y Juniper production. And this is the big news here. So it sounds like it's coming now, it's scheduled for the middle of 2024, as in probably approximately the end of June for the new Tesla Model Y. Do you wanna wait six months for this car? I'd say yes, I, I will be. I'd hope to get a Tesla Model Y this year or soon, but I'm definitely waiting for this. This could be the biggest product launch in a decade for Tesla. This is Tesla's most important car. It's the most important upgrade we've ever seen from Tesla. And they're going to make sure this thing is damn good because they need to. Thank you for watching.